further for the women in our audience today and talk about when you specifically have problems, when will you seek the help of a specialist? So let's take a look at your symptoms real fast. Symptoms of leaking, frequency, you, you think you know, you're not ready to go to bed and all of a sudden, boom, you gotta go to the bathroom all the time. Unable to urinate, you feel like you've gotta go but you can't start. And then there's the weak stream. We talked about that a little bit on the male patient, but it's also an occurrence with the female patients. Let's look at some of the causes that might occur during the lifetime of a female patient that might lead her to some problems with their bladders. There's natural childbirthing. Uh, it weakens the pelvic floor area. That's why oftentimes you'll see doctors or doctors will prescribe strengthening that area before you give, uh, before you give birth. Aging, natural process. Just like the male patient has problems in aging with the prostate, women have problems with their bladders. Diseases, things that can't be diagnosed unless we actually go in there. We might have to do a biopsy. There might be problems in other areas of the bladder. And then we have the lifestyle choices. We're gonna focus primarily on smoking and diet. We know for a fact the number one cause of bladder cancer in most people is smoking. If you could eliminate that, you'd eliminate the chances, most of your chances of getting bladder cancer. And then when you add on to that the choice of heavy drinking or regular drinking with smoking, which is often associated with it, you are doubling your chance of bladder cancer or bladder problems in that area. Cut out the amount you're drinking, what you're smoking or how often you smoke, or if you can possibly do it, quit, quit now. All right, when are you gonna see a specialist? This is a sort of a sensitive area, but let's talk about it in plain terms. If your treatments aren't effective for you, you need to start seeking help from a specialist doctor. So it, it, it just, it's your body. You make the choices for yourself. If you're not, you're the one who gets up every day dealing with these issues. If what, you're, what you've been given for treatments isn't working, ask to get a referral. And in some clinics like ours, you don't need a referral. Just come on in. All right, so the geriatrician gonna work with older adults. You might feel comfortable with that person. A urogynecologist, this is an OBGYN physician that's actually specialized and has further training in the pelvic floor area of the bladder. And then finally, a urologist who actually specializes in female male urinary disorders. Whatever you do, listen to your body, get to see a specialist or ask to be referred to one if the treatments you've been described don't work. Remember, your body, you take care of it.